Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth to explain how hail got that big, right? Enormous. Dave, what are we looking at? It was a real big problem, obviously widespread across the area. So how does hail form, first of all? You have probably heard that the raindrops get tossed up in this updraft. It's the wind that takes the energy for the storm, and it's a vertical wind that can be very, very strong. When they get above the freezing level, they have a chance, obviously, to turn to ice and to grow, and they can go back and forth above and beyond the freezing level, gathering more uh, moisture and going back up. Interesting fact, there is also liquid water in the clouds that's well below freezing but still liquid. And when that happens, the storms can the hail can get really big really fast. So it grows and it grows and it grows until it gets too big and then it falls out as it gets too heavy and goes around here. So uh, interesting note yesterday, the storms were up to 47,000 feet. That's nine miles high. And that means a huge portion of the storm was above the freezing mark. And that's how you can get hail to be that big because it's below that freezing level for so long. Very, very rare for us around here to get baseball size hail. The updraft had to be at least 70 miles an hour going straight up in the middle of that storm. Wow, it was certainly major. Thank you, Rexy.